Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video for Minecraft Dungeons. On the 24th of February, we got our hands on a very awesome new update for Minecraft Dungeons, The Flames of the Nether. This one also brought us a new DLC with six new levels, new weapons, armor and artifacts, but also some very awesome new enchantments, and that is exactly what we're gonna cover today. My name is Foryam and I will show you every single artifact which you can get your hands on on the Flames of the Nether DLC and we'll talk about their potential in future builds, so guys, let's get right to it. Alright, so here we are in the Warped Forest. I think this is one of the most beautiful levels which you can play on the Flames of the Nether DLC, but guys, let's get down to business. In total, there are 13 new enchantments which you can get your hands on. And the cool thing is you don't even need to purchase the Flames of the Nether DLC in order to play with them. You don't even need any DLC really because you can actually find them on all the new levels. You just have to start farming for new items and they will have a chance to be rolled with the new enchantments. In total, there are two for melee, three for ranged and eight for your armor. So that's already quite something, right? Let's check them out one by one. First off, let's check out the weapon enchantments because I currently have these on my Firebrand equipped and boy oh boy, I think it's a pretty cool weapon. Definitely gonna try a fire build with this one when I find a nice gilded one. So the first enchantment is the Pain Cycle. Attacking drains your life to grant one stack of Pain Cycle and at five stacks, your pain is channeled into your next attack which will deal a lot of damage. On the tier one, it will only deal triple damage but seriously guys, if you crank it up to tier three, the maximum stack will deal quite quintuple damage which means five times the damage of a regular hit so i think if this is also the final hit in your attack combo boy oh boy this is gonna deal so much damage but definitely be careful with this one because it will drain some of your hp which is of course pretty dangerous to play on but of course high risk high reward Next up, we have the artifact Synergy. Whenever you use an artifact, your next attack will deal bonus damage. So this would work very well with a build, which will allow you, of course, to have a lot of cooldown reduction. So you can pretty much spam your artifacts and that will, of course, allow you to deal a lot of damage. On the tier three, 80% extra damage. I think it sounds very interesting for future potential builds, but I haven't seen one yet, which is gonna be very viable for higher apocalypse play. Then for the ranged guys, we have the Bow of Lost Souls right here with all the three new ranged enchantments, which is pretty cool. So first off, the artifact charge is pretty similar to the one we just showcased, but whenever you use an artifact, your next few attacks become charged. On the first tier, it's only one charged attack, but the third one will give you three charged attacks, which could be very interesting in combination with the Torment Quiver, because as you already know, the Torment Quiver shoots three arrows, so that will work perfectly fine with this enchantment. Next up, we have the cooldown shot. When you attack with a charge shot, artifact cooldowns are decreased. And you can tell that it will have a pretty nice amount of seconds of cooldown reduction on tier three. Guys, seriously, if you could combine this one with burst bowstring, you will automatically shoot charged arrows every time when you roll. So I think this could be a very powerful enchantment for a certain roll build. So that is definitely something I'm gonna experiment with because it sounds so powerful, guys. Seriously. If you already found a very powerful roll build with this one, definitely make sure to leave it in the comments down below or share it on the Discord. The Discord link is in the description. We're currently more than 2,300 members big and we keep growing every single day. Anyways, on to the third enchantment. This is a powerful one. Shockweb. Beams of lightning connect the last few charged arrows fired, which deal lightning damage to enemies who touch a beam. Up to three beams on the maximum tier. And the cool thing is this is also lightning damage. And right now we can actually get our hands on enchantments on armor, which will of course give you elemental damage increase. So this can be definitely interesting with of course a lightning bolt. Next up, we have this snow armor. And yeah, guys, you guessed it. We're gonna also showcase the lightning focus, which will increase your lightning damage, for example, with the enchantments, which we just showcased. But first, we're gonna check out the reckless because this is a very reckless enchantment, guys, seriously. Your health is reduced by minus 60%, but your melee damage is increased on a maximum tier plus 80%. So this will pretty much make you a glass cannon, will allow you to deal tons and tons of damage. But of course, in return, you're gonna be insanely 
extremely squishy. So I think it could be interesting for higher apocalypse play if you combine this on pieces of armor that will already make you pretty tanky. I did this one on the live stream uh, yesterday and uh, I was playing with the Titan Shroud right here with a tier 3 Reckless. But I have to say guys, it was pretty scary. I was extremely squishy even with a protection and a chilling enchantment. But it can definitely work with some more artifacts, for example the Iron Height Amulet. Next up, we're going to showcase some pet enchantments. The first one is the Beast Burst. Using a healing potion causes an explosion at your pet's locations, dealing damage to all the mobs around them. And this will deal a lot of explosion damage, guys. So it sounds pretty awesome. But at the same time, it will, of course, only trigger when you use a potion. So in my opinion, this is not a very powerful enchantment. Nevertheless, very interesting to try a build with this one in combination with the other two pet enchantments. And for that one, we're going to check out this evocation rope because boy, oh boy, these are pretty funky. Beast Surge. Using your health potion, once again, boost your pet's attack and movement speed for 10 seconds on a maximum tier plus 150%. So yes, if you're going to use that potion, guys, your pets will go insane if you also combine it with this enchantment. But once again, depending on your cooldown of the health potion, I don't think this one is going to be very powerful either. The Beast Boss though, the final enchantment for the pets, your pets will deal more damage on the maximum tier plus 40%. This one will be active permanently, which is a very powerful enchantment in my opinion. Definitely if you're gonna test it out with some more pet enchantments, maybe some elemental enchantments. Man, oh man, there are so many possible things, so many possible builds which we can try and um, speculate on. But um, this one is definitely gonna be a very strong one. Now, moving back to the snow armor, guys, as already said, the lightning focus. So yes, this one will increase all your lightning damage. I think it will also be very interesting in combination with things like the storm collar. Right here, you can see the lightning damage you deal is increased on a tier three plus 75%. So weapons like the storm collar, I think they will be very awesome with this one because they will always deal the lightning damage. Also enchantments like thundering, guys. Seriously, I want to try this out. You're going to be like Thor smashing your hammers, calling thunder on your enemies 24-7, which will deal devastating damage. It's gonna be great fun, for sure. Moving on to the next focus on the skill mill, the poison focus. This will increase your poison damage by 75% on the maximum tier, so it could work pretty well with things like the Corrupted Seeds. But then we also have a bow right here, guys, this um, DLC exclusive bow called the Weeping Vine Bow. When we equip this one and uh, shoot, this one will also leave a poison trail behind, which is going to, of course, increase your poison damage. There are also weapons like the Glaives, which will deal poison cloud damage, which is very interesting to use with this one. Next up, we have the Soul Focus. I think this is a very interesting enchantment because, guys, seriously, you know that I really love to play with Soul enchantments. Increase the amount of the Soul damage you deal on the maximum tier plus 30%. They definitely didn't overdo this one because 75% would be pretty overpowered. But 30% sounds balanced, guys, because you can already deal tons and tons of damage with, for example, the Torment Quiver and many other things like the Harvester. I am also very curious how this one is going to work in combination with the Soul Healer because, yes, we already have a plus 30% increased soul damage right here. But does that also mean that if we use the Soul Healer, it will heal us 30% more? That could be very nice to try. Last focus, the fire focus. Fire damage you deal is increased plus 75% as well on the last tier. So that means with a fire quiver, this one is going to be very interesting. I think also the exploding arrows. There are so many things we could try out with this fireman. Seriously, we also have uh, the firebread equipped right now. This one burns mobs. It's just a tier one. But if you get your hands on a gilded enchantment with tier three, that could be extremely interesting as well. Once again, moving to my titan's shroud right here. Burning near by enemies if you have this one on a very strong level guys seriously i think it's gonna be pretty insane quickly moving back to the weeping vine bow guys the shock web i think it's a very cool enchantment once again but at the same time how cool would it be if we could actually whip enemies on the ground when we actually hit them so for example when you see a very tanky very strong enemy with many different enchantments which you won't be able to take down in just a couple seconds well then it could be very cool that we could just snare them on the ground like with the corrupted seeds i think mojang should definitely consider adding an enchantment like that and of course there are many more ideas which we can talk about in a future video. 
Alright, so guys, that's pretty much everything you need to know about the new enchantments. Right now, it is time to search for some very awesome builds with all this information. So guys, good luck with that. If you enjoyed watching this video, it would be very much appreciated if you could just hit that like button for a second. It helps me out a lot. And of course, also all the people who are looking for this type of video. Right now, it is 4 a.m. out. Time to work on a new project. I'll see you guys very soon in the next premiere, the next video in the comment section, maybe on Discord or even on the live stream would be very very awesome to see you right there. Anyways, guys, take care. Good luck hunting for these very awesome new items with enchantments. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.